So today I wanted to talk about the journey to becoming and staying debt free. Yes, debt free. I want to talk about debt today. From whose point of view? From only my point of view. Yes, there are hundreds, if not hundreds of thousands of videos out there on the internet, out there on YouTube, talking about how to become debt free, um, how to how to stay debt free, how to get yourself out of debt. There's a lot of thoughts, there's a lot of philosophies on debt. There's so many different talks, there's so many different paradigms. That's a word that I like to use as a paradigm that people have around debt, that people have around money. Um, this topic is not different than anything else. You're going to get uh, lots of different opinions. You're going to get lots of different advice. You're going to get lots of different uh, different paradigms on it. So, what again, what I'm talking about here today, just my own little disclosure, this is just my paradigm on debt and I'm going to talk about um, I'm going to talk about some of my journey through through debt and some of the things I've done to become debt free it's, it's really important that you uh, you know people that are you're, that you're getting advice that they really live what it is that they they live what they they live what they preach so and that goes for anything and, and everything that's a that's very very important so I really do my best job I can that if I give a talk on something that I do apply it I do practice what I preach that's a kind of a rule that I have uh, for for my own self enough on that debt um, I like many Americans uh, starting out at a young age after high school I have been in lots of debt I've uh, not necessarily over my head or anything. I've never never gone through bankruptcy. I've managed it well, but I have fallen into uh, over my life a lot of the the traps that many of us all fall into. Okay, when we're starting out, uh, just right after high school, we're marketed and we're sold from a young age that debt. You know, debt is how you get ahead. Debt is this. Uh, debt is going to make you happy. Uh, having these things, we're constantly marketed. We're constantly um, shown in our faces these shiny objects that marketers and advertisers do an extremely um, great job at trying to demonstrate that this is going to give us pleasure in our lives and it's going to get us away from pain. Okay. These things, this stuff, these material objects are going to give us pleasure. And, and actually what happens, the opposite effect occurs is that they actually start the process of destroying our lives. And they, 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 it has this really bad power to, to destroy, okay? And, uh, and to actually make us weaker instead of stronger. I've been into debt. I've, I've, had, uh, I've had lots of, you know, when I started out at a young age, I had lots of credit cards. Um, I, you know, I, I went ahead and I remember when I bought my first house, you know, I went into debt for everything and, and, uh, I went into debt for the house. I went into debt to buy the furniture, to buy the bed. Um, now, like I said, I was able to manage things well, uh, at that time. And one of the greatest questions ever is knowing what you now know, what would you do differently if you had to start it all over again? And I would do things a lot differently. I wouldn't have gone into debt for these things. I would have saved up. I would have paid cash. I wasn't born with a silver spoon. I had to learn and develop on my own. I had to learn how to do how to do these things. I had to I had to learn, and I had to fail. I had to make mistakes. Um, and fortunately, I was able to learn from my mistakes. I was able to correct, educate myself, and make the right decisions moving forward. I was into debt up to my eyeballs and I was, you know, simply doing that because I was led to believe that that was the only way. There wasn't really another way or that was the right way. You know, we're, we're preached that this is what we should do. And, um, and, and, you know, and, and we and generally, we end up, we end up doing that. We end up following through with everything that we, you know, that we believe to be true. We end up, we end up following through with it. As I got smarter, I began to educate myself. I began to, uh, to read books. I began to read, um, to to go attend seminars, and I began to to study and learn uh, about money. And uh, and and to this day, money is still it's one of the most fascinating fascinating subjects. Uh, that I've always had a had a real interest in learning about because it affects 
you know the society that we live in you know it affects it, 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 it you know it affects a lot of things in our lives and and if you don't study you don't educate yourself or you don't come from a family that was educated on it you know you either you're going to end up just being a messy failure with it or you have to educate yourself on your own about how to handle what you have and i want to put a big emphasis on that what i just said it's really it's 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 all about learning to handle what you have. Money is more about mind. It's about what's be going. It's what's a, it's what's about going on between here and here in your mind than anything else. All that mecha all the mechanics and stuff of money and debt. Uh, that's the really easy stuff to get. But what's going on up here? It's your associations that you have with money. What you link pain and pleasure to in money. That's the driving force of uh, all of your money decisions that you're making in your life, whether or not you know it. Most people are unconscious of what of what I just said. They're unaware of that. They're all they're running around in a uh, in a pattern in a hypnotic trance, and they're unaware of a lot of things. And that's why you have to watch videos like this. You have to get around other people who uh, who have um, gotten out of debt and and figured out how to do it and how to think about it, how to process it. So I've talked a little bit about um, about my story. Like I said, I got out of it, I was in it, and I didn't like it. I realized that it was making me uh, making me miserable, and, 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 I, and I began to learn how to do it. I began to change my thinking. What's going on between here and here in your mind uh, is the greatest discovery that you will ever make, okay, because that is what's causing. That is what's what's um, what's driving. You know, all of your all of your your buying decisions. You know, we've been um, conditioned from a young age to. Um, you know, we have been by TV marketing advertising. You know, like my generation. I'm 38 years old. I grew up in the 80s and the 90s. So uh, that was I was I was heavily influenced by TV, by movies, by um, music. You know, a lot of things. That was my generation. So every generation is being influenced and, and, and you know, driven differently by marketing and advertising. Eighty percent of life is being aware as awareness. It's being aware of things, okay? The rest of the twenty percent, it's all just mechanical things, it's nuts and bolts, it's the easy what I refer to as the easy stuff. It's the simple stuff in life that you have to figure out. Advertisers and marketers in the in the world, bankers in the world there are some of the most brilliant minds in the universe some of the smartest people are in advertising and marketing okay in the universe all right and they're paid large large sums of money to direct you know you around to market you things to feed you lies to feed you that this is going to equal massive pleasure in your life and this is you know this is going to solve all your problems it's marketed constantly every day credit cards they're constantly marketing you these things this debt that i'm referring to in this video is mostly around consumer debt okay you see bankers and bankers marketers and advertisers they have one job okay and their job is to separate you from your money. Okay, I'm going to say that one more time because if you can get this one this one takeaway from this, you're going to be you're going to be it's really going to I feel get you going in the right direction to getting yourself out of debt. Their goal is to separate you from your money. That's what they're trying to do. That's what they're paid large sums of money to do. So, with knowing that I know when I first figured that out, it really pissed me off, and it started. It, it made me radically just think differently about everything. And you can take that one or two ways. You can say, "Well, you know, we're in a capitalistic society, and you know that's the." And yes, I agree. We are in a capitalistic society, and those are, and we have the the freedom. And I am all about that. I am all about everybody having the freedom to choose the way they want to live. Okay, now that of course that's a whole nother subject, but. In terms of this this thing revolving around consumer debt, you've got to really not bullshit yourself on these on these things that I'm telling you here in this video. Okay, um, these people are paid millions of dollars to try to get your money. Okay, so when you're in debt to somebody, you know you are in an essence you're you know you are an employee of of that credit card. You're an employee of that bank, and you are 
in that rat in that cage and you are working for them okay you're an employee for them that's the way that you look like on their balance sheet really critical so so with knowing a lot of so with knowing some of these things I've talked about if you're not already fired up you should be you should be fired up to get out of you out of that debt there is a good type of debt in my humble opinion and that good debt is the debt to acquire assets okay and assets are what give you a return on that money so using debt to uh, to leverage to buy a real estate investment to buy a commercial property to buy an apartment building to buy a residential property and and rent it out and make money on that cash flow debt at its essence and financial terms it's a tool okay it's all that it is it's a tool it doesn't have any power beyond that now your mind gives that debt power good or bad positive or negative and that's why I emphasize again that you have to educate yourself you know if you are a, you know if you're a young if you're in high school right now and you're watching this video you know you really you've got you, you have to educate yourself you got to go deeper into um, you have to go deeper into these things that, that, that I'm that I'm talking about but I'm just I'm trying to elevate your consciousness in this video I'm trying to elevate your awareness in this video if you don't already know talking more like I've talked debt now just just on the subject of money money it's I'm learning new things every day every day on money in terms of I'm elevating my consciousness with money every day um, you know I just watched a video here uh, the other day from a guy by the name of no stress Mike go check out his YouTube channel he just did a, a video talking about how I live without money you know Wow, you know what a what a title that is. How do you live without money? You know, because in the in the in the world I live in, you know, you 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 kind of sort of need money to, um, you kind of need you kind of sort of need money to to live, right? You know, you need to put gas in your tank. You need to put food in your stomach. You've got stomachs to feed. So I watched his video, and and you know he mentioned a couple of things that that like I I don't know. I just sort of you know a different way of thinking like I said it's what's going on between here and here alright that's what you've got to work on you've got to work on what's you got to work on your associations that you have so I've talked about some of the mind what I could what I consider mindset uh, mindset regarding debt and money um, what's going you know what's going on I haven't gone into deep deep detail but I've given you some some um, uh, some good awareness on that let me talk a little bit about getting out of debt my favorite blog like personal finance blog um, it's a guy by the name of mister money mustache and a lot of people you know he's he is extreme but I like the way he thinks and and um, you know and, and so I've gotten a lot a lot of great uh, he's been very influential for me when I started out many years ago I, I, I listened to Dave Ramsey and uh, I followed, you know, his program on, on, you know, on, on getting, you know, getting out of debt. It's really a process of, of, of changing what's happening up here um, around it. And, and I know that's not what a lot of people want to hear. Uh, they want, they want some kind of a silver bullet with it. And, and, you know, there are, there are no, there are no silver bullets. You know, if you got yourself into it, you have to work your ass off to get yourself out of it. Some people ask, well, why, why not? Why not have a little bit of debt? why why not borrow against this and I've got a business that's it's you know paying for some of this and I can make these payments and you know why not what's what's wrong what's wrong with uh, with having a little bit of debt and managing it and you know what's wrong with going down to uh, to Costco or wherever you shop and you're getting there getting one of those credit cards you know and and um, that that you know that give you points when you buy things and you know what's what's wrong with that you know what's wrong with it and see this is where we go back to the fat the fundamentals the fundamentals and what are the fundamentals to me the fundamentals to me are it begins with this idea that I need debt like it, it, it to me it starts with it starts there like the me to me the way I think I have a belief that says that I don't need debt. I don't need that to live my life. I don't need it to make me happier. I don't need the credit cards. 
I have a disclosure. I have one credit card that I do not use, and it is for emergencies. I don't carry any balance on it. But I don't use it. I don't use it because I've discovered that it. I, I, I don't need it. It's not necessary. Now, you will be flooded out. You are flooded out there in the marketplace by these people telling you that, oh, well, you get the points and the miles and the cards and this and that. You see, that's what, I, that's what I'm talking about. I have chosen to remove myself from that matrix. I've chosen to remove myself from all of that stuff going on out there. You can label me what you want, but I'm all about living a liberated, free life. I don't want to be tied down by any of that stuff anymore. I don't want the carrot dangling. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to live that way anymore. I, uh, I pay cash for everything. That's, that's what I do. Now I would go into debt in the future to buy an, an asset that would, um, that would be an investment capital. You know, I would do that, but for consumables, for, uh, I would, I will not do that ever again because I know it's not necessary. Some of you might be asking, now this sounds all well and good. Can you give me something practical I can take away with this to, uh, to, to do, you know, besides just telling me to, you know, work hard for the next 10 years or, you know, hopefully that's not you. Okay. You're not in that much. You get what I'm trying to say here. What is it that I can, what, what can I, what, what, what can you give me that, what kind of an exercise, what's something that I can work on here, take away from this video? What I'm going to suggest is to take out a pen and a spiral notebook and write down, you know, ask, answer the question, why? Ask yourself, why? Why am I in debt right now? Why am I up, up to my arms right now with this amount? You need to ask yourself the, the process of answering and asking yourself why. And I want you to do this exercise about at least seven times. I want to ask, ask why, write another answer down. Ask, okay, why, write another answer down. And after you do this about seven times, you should come to an understanding of why am I in this condition? Why, why am I presently in so much debt? What is going on? Because unless you discover and you answer that question, everything else is just, uh, it's, it's pretty much meaningless. You have to really understand why you've gotten yourself into this much debt. You did it. Nobody else did. So you have to understand what's going on with yourself and why am I doing this? Why am I making these choices? Why am I making these decisions? You've got to understand why and you've got to go deep because there's things that are deep in the recesses of your subconscious mind. That's where you're going to, where you're going to discover why you're doing things. Very, very important here. Debt simply is a tool. It has no power beyond that. You give it all the power, whether positive or negative. I've discovered in my own life it's not necessary. I don't need it to be happy. I don't need it for me to um, to feel good. I don't need it to feel good. That's another important thing. You know, people do things because they want to feel good. They want to feel better. Once you make that discovery that I don't need something to feel good, I can generate my own feelings. Then that puts you back into a power position. I really, really encourage you all to. Um, to, to go to the fundamentals, to get real with, with your debt and get yourself out of it and live a free and liberated life. Thanks for watching. Peace. We'll see you all in the next video.